Right, so I managed to uh, get the spay into the garage with a lot of uh, huffing and puffing, but we actually did it. And uh, well, we've got quite a lot of uh, to do items on this engine, and uh, I can quickly show you what the problems we have. So let's start here at the front again, as we always do. So this here is actually the uh, high pressure sh uh, high pressure cock or the high pressure shut off valve, call it what you want. So uh, we were going to have to try and figure out some sort of cable mechanism to connect that to a um, uh, to a control box or something. And then this here. This here is actually the throttle. I hope you can see that. So if I, it's probably just move it down there. So that's actually the throttle, the fuel fuel, fuel flow regulator. So both of these are going to need some form of cabling that we could connect back to the uh, uh, back to the um, control box. So that's one thing we have to do. While we're at the front, let's just come around here. So there's a number of these uh, blanks on the gearbox, which again, are gonna have to be dealt with. We're gonna have to blank these off with some circular pieces of aluminium, because obviously there's oil going through there. I think that one was for the hydraulic pump or possibly the uh, generator. I spec the generator actually, and then over there, we've got a, um, that's actually the fuel inlet. And again, that's another thing we've got to try and adapt, get some sort of quick release connector on there or something like that. So let's come around this side quickly. It's a bit cramped here in the WTF garage uh, with this big spay, but anyway. So this is the other problem that we've got. So I've taken the blanks off these. And again, this is what I showed you in the previous video, the accessory gearbox. So this here is where the IDG or constant speed drive would connect to. And that would then be connected to possibly a generator or something. Now, the whole idea of don't it, well, I I don't want to sort of explain about IDGs. They're quite complicated, but basically they maintain the constant speed for the generator when there's different engine speeds and different current demands. And what you'll notice down there in the corner, there's two oil feeds. Now, normally we would blank this off, and uh, with a with a straight piece of or flat piece of aluminium disc. Put, put the V-band clamp around, put a gasket or something, and it's usually not a problem. However, these two things here are sticking proud. So we've got the option of making a fancy cover to include those, or whether we just dispense with those altogether. And I'm quite tempted just to dispense with them because they don't actually, they're not actually required. We're not going to be putting an IDG on this engine. Up here, that's where the pneumatic starter goes. Get that out of the way. So that's luckily I've actually got a pneumatic starter that well, that is the uh, the right sort for this engine. So that's hopefully won't be too much of a problem. Ladies and gents, we are making some progress with this engine. As you can see, we've got a nice shiny new blank covering the mounting area for the uh, generator and uh, the two pipes that were protruding which are the oil feed cooling oil feed for the generator <clears throat> which come from the uh, constant speed drive well they've simply pulled out and I've um, 
I've had to make up that blank. I've got had some aluminium uh, laser cut. I can't. I'm not very good at cutting circles. And the um, I've had to make a slight reset, hence the uh, sort of smaller disc in the middle, because the um, generator shaft protrudes about two millimeters, so it's not completely flush with the uh, the mount. But that's not that's had, that hasn't been a problem. Um, we've just simply um, <coughs> covered up the uh, uh, the hole with that other disc, and everything's tickety boo, as they say. Anyway, moving on. So we're making reasonably good progress with this. We look on this side here. So this is the other side of the accessory gearbox, and you can see there. Um, there's another homebrew bl aluminium blank which is covering the uh, uh, mount for the uh, constant speed drive. Interestingly there's a shaft uh, which goes through right through the gearbox so the constant speed drive is driven by one shaft directly from the um, <clears throat> gearbox and then there's another shaft which basically comes from the constant speed drive and connects into the uh, generator because the whole idea of the constant speed drive is to keep the generator going at the same speed uh, you know depending on what the actual uh, engine speed is so if the engine is going sort of full tilt then the generator will be going at a constant speed so the next job what I'm going to do is mount up the uh, starter and the starter air valve. I think that shouldn't take too long. And then I think after that probably do a bit of uh, work on the control box. I think that will probably be the next thing to do. Right, so here we have one Rolls-Royce Spey jet engine starter motor, pneumatic starter, and if you want to know how this works then uh, I did a video on this uh, a few weeks ago. So we've got to uh, stick that onto the, the mounting uh, space which I showed you. That shouldn't, uh, shouldn't take too long and we've also got to stick this on as well. Uh, this is the uh, start air valve. Uh, so how this works is that the, the air comes in here from the air start uh, unit and what we've got here is a, a switch uh, which uses uh, 24 volts and activates a relay which will, or, or a type of switch which then allows this valve to open providing air out of here for the starter motor. There is also another mechanism in here which has got a pressure switch which I think is essentially like a warning switch uh, to indicate that there's air, air present or air ready to be uh, delivered. So we can utilize that on the control box with a little warning light or something like that. And these things just clamp on. So we'll just get some V-band clamps, clamp those up and uh, should should be okay.
Okay folks, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again for another video.